here on the All Access Post Game Show. Uh, Coach, this was a win that, I don't know if you would say needed, but this was a win that felt like your team really would be buoyed by how emotional of a lift does your team get from an effort like this tonight well they're a good team you know i mean another ranked team that we played and uh, i think we, we actually played about 45 50 minutes today <laughs> at the full 60 but you know it's a good win for us and i think our guys are excited to get it moving into you know moving along here i think we're building and doing things and uh you know our offense is starting to do a good job i think and getting some easier goals some cutting goals now i think we're getting more of that and and uh, i think our defense is doing a good job especially mark Paulson, the goal i think he's done a great job stepping in for sam when he's been out and uh you know he, mark's doing a great job thought he let the one in but you know everybody's telling me he got tips so down his brother dom sticking up for him a little bit <laughs> but uh but uh but you know they're doing great i think the defense did a great job in the second half no goals in the fourth quarter uh it was really good we've been struggling in the fourth quarter at times and they get a 4-0 fourth quarter against a quality team it's pretty good so we're happy and they also held Christopher Newport to one of six in their extra man opportunities. Yeah. That was great. Yeah, we followed a little bit too much there, you know. So, but uh, yeah, I think that we did a good job. I think our defense also understands where to be. Coach Paul does a good job of them. Dom, and we have a lot of seniors on that man down, so they've seen about pretty much everything. So they don't get fooled too often about stuff. So they do a good job. And you know, Mark bailed them out a few times, but I think they got what they did well is that they got their ball and they got their sticks on a lot of balls. And so that's really the thing: the interrupt their uh, skip passes. And we really knew where eleven was. You know, eleven's a big outside shooter, and we really limited him the amount of shots that he can get. You know, we referenced before the game, you thought that perhaps the face-off X was something you could take advantage of. Yep. Not just winning it again, but to get another couple of goals from, from Nelson afterwards, that, that he continues to have an eye for that and getting into the offense, I think, was big. Yeah, Seth's doing a good job. You know, I think uh, getting us the ball back over and over and, and he's dangerous with the ball going forward. I think his decision-making is off at times, right. and he needs to improve on that, but he's really doing a good job. He has a lot of confidence now how he's playing, he's getting the ball out. And what's great about Seth is that he's strong with the ball. So he can take some checks, he can take the long pull on a little bit and make some plays and not a lot of face-off guys have that ability. So he's strong with the ball. That's really helping us now, scoring some goals. And when he gets in there, and you know, he's, just, he's shooting that ball over him. It's just tough for the goalies to see it. And the one at the end of the half was really big, and the one in the first quarter was big to get us started. So, you know, he's doing a good job. And, but that's what he's supposed to do. You know, Seth's a, a very seasoned kid now. And I think all of our freshmen, I think we might have played, I don't know, seven or eight freshmen today. So many. So many freshmen today. Yeah. And they did a good job. Including Josh Brandon getting his first career goal. Yeah, Josh is moving along. You know, we need him to get better, but he's getting over the flu still, getting some of that weight back he lost. It was good that he got a cutting goal, uh, but he also gave up a goal in the top there in a fast break. So he's learning and understanding when turnovers, how they matter. Sometimes a freshman, you turn the ball over, you don't realize how much they matter and how momentum changes. So he understood that. That was a kind of a mistake in his part, but it's good for Josh to get a goal and do well. And I'm, I mean, what I'm most is that uh, I don't think NC saw wasn't really too happy at halftime. So, <laughs> I, I, I did not I understand that, uh, that at all. I think all. that I challenged our seniors and, and, yeah. and, and the locker room pretty thing and I think they stood up they understood yeah. Gray McKee especially and Dylan Harris especially the two that are really challenged and I think they stood up in the second half and played extremely well but that's what seniors are supposed to do and uh, they can handle it and did a good job well you brought Dom DeFazio up with you tonight yes I did he had a tremendous game tonight he had so many calls turnovers that he actually surpassed Callum, Callum Robinson, Robinson for third as all time. Yes. Yeah, wow. Yeah. Cal's not going to be happy about that. <laughs> well, we decided Cal would have more calls turnovers if he could keep himself out of the penalty box. Well, he did have like six penalties. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I think he played great. You know, Dom's has been. You know, Dom's been here a long time, and he's done a really good job. And nobody cares more than Dom DeFazio. You know, he wants to win. He cares, and he brings that passion to his teammates. He understands that he's almost like a coach for us on the field. He understands it so well, and his passion and how hard he plays. Like he played hard in second running people over, getting tough brown balls, moving it, and he just cares. And that's the best part about Dom because he's such a great kid. His passion and caring is unbelievable, and he loves Stevenson. He wants us to be successful, but he not only himself, but he wants his teammates to be successful because so, he works so much with them on and off the field. He's just, you know, that's why he's he, that's why he's our captain. He just does such a great job, and we're really proud of everything he's accomplished, especially coming back from the knee surgeries, and I think he's only getting better. It's like early on, and, you know, when you, a knee surgery is like a year and a half to really get back to where you are. So he's just kind of getting into form again to where he was when he got hurt. So we're, we're really happy with it. Coach, congratulations on a great win. We'll see you Saturday night. Thank you very much. He's Coach Paul Cantabene joining us here on the All Access Post Game Show.